Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new wraparound ice. We're outside the back of our local ice rink, Planet Ice Arena in Peterborough. We've got these things on our sticks, we're going to see how they perform, and give you guys a little bit of feedback about what you can expect from this thing, but most importantly, how it compares to the previous one, which was made from metal. Now the new one's made from plastic. Let's check it out and see how it performs. <laughs> The biggest question on everyone's mind was going to be what was the durability like? Because Wraparound had the one made from metal or steel and now the new ice model is made from plastic. So you're going to be thinking it's not going to be anywhere near as durable. If anything, we feel the specialised formula of plastics that Wraparound have used to create the new ice model is actually a little bit more robust and more durable than the previous one model which was made from metal, which is insane to think about. An entire year of R&D has gone into creating the new Wraparound ice having spoken to them about their new model and we're incredibly pleased with the results so far. Similar to the Wraparound 1, the new ice model will fit left and right-handed sticks, pretty much any curve that you can get, and also junior sticks. The great thing about the new Wraparound ice is if it fits onto a junior stick a little bit too long, there's a little bit too much of the Wraparound poking out the bottom, you simply cut or trim it to fit the junior stick accordingly, which is something you couldn't do with the Wraparound 1 model. If it was a little bit too long, you just kind of had to deal with that. So it's great to see that Wraparound have addressed that issue. The weight of some of the other wraparound models that we used made from steel was around 79 to 80 grams. So it's insane to see that the new wraparound ice only comes in at 39 grams. Now I'm not saying that's something that you're not going to feel on your stick at all. You are going to feel a tiny, tiny difference, but nowhere near as significant as the previous models that they had. But you still shouldn't look at the weight as a negative. The wraparound one model would be great to use for strengthening up your hands for stick handling and shooting. So it still has its place. One thing we noticed about the new wraparound ice is its new teeth are slightly inverted. Now we thought this can sometimes make it a bit tricky to get onto the stick's blade, but this has actually been done intentionally by wraparound to reduce any space between the new teeth and the blade of the stick, offering you a much better puck feel and overall a more natural feeling training off the ice. The biggest difference you're going to notice using the new ice model compared to the previous versions which are all made from metal or steel is going to be the weight. 39 grams for having something on the end of your stick that's protecting the blade for you to use it on rough surfaces just like we're on right now is phenomenal. But aside from that, it's gonna be how natural stick handling and shooting feels with the wraparound ice. The previous versions were good, but you did notice a slight disruption with the way that the puck felt on the end of your stick versus being actually on the ice. Now, although it wasn't drastic, you did notice it. Now, with the new ice model, that sensation is completely minimized. I can't stress how much more natural it feels to stick handle with the ice model compared to the other versions. This thing is gonna be great for stick handling, shooting, for juniors, for seniors, anyone that wants to take their game to the next level, but doesn't have access to an ice rink whenever they wanna train. Phenomenal changes, and we're really, really pleased to see what Wraparound have done. So a question that always comes up is, what's the point of taping the Wraparound up if when you use it on the ground, the tape gets worn off from the bottom? Now the answer to that is the tape along the sides of the wraparound and also the stick blade will still keep the wraparound attached securely to your stick. Now this will add a little bit of friction when you first tape your wraparound up and use it on the ground, but as soon as that tape is worn off of the bottom of the wraparound, it feels great. So just finished using the wraparound ice, really easy to use product, slide it on your stick, tape over it. We only taped heel and toe, it still works pretty well. I've uh, been using it on concrete for about an hour, an hour and a half. Hasn't had any stick damage, hasn't really had many scratches or dents or lost any pieces. So overall it's held up really well. The tape obviously wears away pretty fast, but it's way, way, way better than using a stick just for concrete. Overall for off-ice training product, uh, using my same game stick every time, I'd definitely use it again. So I used wraparound ice today and it's pretty sick. It's like, it feels natural like on the ice. I had a lot of fun 
and I think it's good for off ice time for me. The important thing is that I can just take it off, use my game stick and just tape it and go on the ice now. If you're wondering about the tape that we have on our sticks, it's Pride Tape. If you don't already know what it is, there'll be a link down below in the video description so you can find out more about it, but it's called Pride Tape. Great cause, we love what they stand for and we love to use their product. Make sure you check it out. Big thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up the video. Massive thank you to Patty and also Richard for helping us film this. And take care till next time, but before you go anywhere, hit that subscribe button. Buy it and hockey dog. <laughs>